Do 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 do. Hi, I'm Celeste Twin with Channel Five TV News, and I am here to tell you a little bit about the Mount St. Helens eruptions and the earthquakes. Now, the most recent ver eruption of Mount St. Helens happened on July 10th of 2008. Now, just because that's the most recent one does not mean that it is the most devastating. The most devastating eruption happened on May 18th of 1980, which killed 57 people. Now, just because there were 57 killed does not mean that, that those people were the only ones who were affected by the Mount St. Helens eruption. A bunch of different people were affected by the earthquakes and a bunch of different reasons. I will turn our time over to Celeste to tell us a little bit more. Do-do-do-do-do! Hi, I'm Celeste, and I will be here to tell you more about the effects that has happened on the people and the surrounding area of Mount St. Helens. Now, as you know, the most devastating eruption happened on May 18th of 1980, which killed 57. And as Celeste has stated, those were not the only people who were affected. A bunch of people were affected by the earthquakes happening before and after and also during the eruption of Mount St. Helens. Now, these earthquakes range from a very low magnitude all the way to a 5.1, which is very devastating. Now, these stronger earthquakes started happening on, on March 16th and lasted to April 21st, which a 5.1 category earthquake was recorded. Now, with all of these earthquakes happening, I have to do a demonstration to show you what happened. So here are some small scale representations of plate tectonics. They are not very accurate, but that's okay. Now, Mount St. Helens would be somewhere along the line of the plate tectonic. Now these plate tectonics would rub against each other, creating Mount St. Helens, and also a bunch of different magnitudinal earthquakes. And these earthquakes range from very low to very high, which, as stated before, all the way to a 5.1. Now, with all these earthquakes happening, the magma underneath these plecto tectonics started to flow and create even hotter energy, which eventually escaped through the Mount St. Helens. Now, here's a small scale of what happened. So the magma down below the plate tectonics started to go up and up and up until it eventually exploded and caused a bunch of magma to run down the sides, which created a bunch of landslides and multiple different rocks. Now, a bunch of ashes through clouds were let into the air, which caused a bunch of air pollution. And that seems to be all the time we have for today. So I will turn it back over to Celeste so that she can conclude our Channel 5 news. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do. Thanks, Celeste. And she is right. That seems to be all of the time that we have for today. So we will wrap it up with a brief summary of what happened. Now, we talked about a bunch of different things which was some eruptions, and also the changes that occurred. Now, again, that is all the time that we have for today. So, this is Celeste Twin, signing off on Channel 5 TV News. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do.